The only negative we have is that for the first time in our history, we have not had an opposition that has been clear on its position as to what do we do. That is the present opposition. They have not been able to make a statement as to whether or not they want the matter to be resolved at the ICJ. Seems as if the leadership of the PUP is not even in a position to come to a conclusive decision on that matter. With respect to people like Eamon Courtney, he is on record as saying publicly, and we have it on tape, that the ICJ is the only way to go. But he changes his views, depending, it seems to me, on the circumstances. Now we seem to be resiling from that position, or we seem to be qualifying that position by suggesting that he is not prepared to go while I am the foreign minister. How that impacts the matter, I don't know. The truth and the record is that, according to Insouza, OAS Secretary General, who was charged of this matter, the decision that we made when we signed the special agreement to go to the ICJ was the best decision that had ever been made in the history of the dispute. And that was under my watch. But they seem to have a very great problem with my handling of this matter and seem to be confusing those people who want to follow them uh, and distorting the truth. The truth is that we are going a very clear path and we are making strides, tremendous strides. The entire international community is on our side in terms of helping us to prepare for the referendum.